First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray feeling good, Lewis. We're going to start out the show a little different today. I was going to show you the trades that we had set up today. These are the same type of trades we are going to be doing on uh, Tuesday, the live trading day. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. As you can see, this was a perfect ABCD 382 right up to the uh, number of uh, 8626. Excuse me, 86.22. We went in at 86.10. It's now $1,500 lower down into this area here. So we have locked in that profit. But I also wanted to uh, show you what happened after that because this is what we're going to be doing in the sequence of looking at some of these things because we want to follow them after they start to work. So if you take a look at this crude oil, and this is just a four-minute chart. Remember, folks, we're seeing volatility out here. Hey, look, if you can take FedEx, one of the best shipping companies in the country, down, you know, 23, 24 percent in one day, you, you can move a lot of things. But anyway, here's what we were watching. Uh, this was the ABCD right up in here, right at the 382 retracement. There was your first 382 retracement right here, folks. Look at that, just spot on, right on the money. What does it do? It breaks another $800. So it's all about risk control. That's what it's all about, and we're going to be covering a lot of that. Another one that we looked at that looked really interesting today was the one that we talked about yesterday, and that was, I'll explain to you what I did on this because I did something a little different than I usually do. Let's guess. Now, this was for short-term trading, remember. Okay, now here is, you can see the the ABCD pattern that occurred here. But right here, there's the number that we were waiting to buy on. And I'll show you what that is. But there's your eight, your 1668. <laughs> and we covered it up here at the ABCD level here at uh, 1674. So we made a nice little profit on that one. But let's take a look at that pattern because I have to explain myself on this one. And the reason why is because uh, I'm just like everybody else. I'm watching this stuff go up and down. And let me get this up here so we can see it. This is the four-hour chart in the gold. We've been following for a long time. A double ABCs down here at the 18, God darn it, Larry, 1668. Uh, the low was 1661. We bought it at 61, at 68, but that was on the pullback. I said in the video that I sent, I said, I, the, I'm nervous about these markets because there's something not right here, folks. These things are just, they're just getting beat to death. And now the news, I know we got the stuff from the Federal Reserve, but the stuff from Federal, Federal Express really means something. Take a look at that. You want to see a negative chart? I don't follow this, but uh, someone told me that's the Dow Jones Transportations. Whew. Whoa, listen, they can make all the things they have, and they can't sh uh, sell them, they don't ship them. So something is in the cards here. Pay close attention, folks. Very, very dangerous that we see here. Anyway, that was a multiple ABCD. In retrospect, I might be buying it again on Monday, depending upon what the pullback looks like. But by golly, you know, I was just nervous down there to be buying it at that level. We, we recommended covering all shorts. And, of course, you know, we talked about that several times, being at the 382 up here. That's, you know, went right down to the target that it was supposed to get to. Now, one that was a lot easier and a lot more fun to trade so you can fall asleep when you trade this one. And that is the doggone, hold on one second here is the corn market, and we'll see what's going on here. Hold on a second here. Uh-oh, you know, give me a second here. I have to, uh, ah, dog on it. Folks, I have to leave for 30 seconds, so bear with me here. Emergency, hold on. Oh, sorry, folks, the kitchen staff and the household staff are out for the day, and today's the day that 
uh, Carlos comes to do our cars, so he, <laughs> I had to open the garage for him. Anyway, sorry for that. Anyway, you can see the perfect A, B, C, D here in corn. It can't get any better than this. That's for sure. Hold on here just a minute here. Oh, boy, all kinds of uh, things happening today. Sarah, please answer that and tell them I'll call them back. Okay, that's an important one. Sorry, boys and girls. This is kind of day that uh, everything is jumping around at the same time. Anyway, a perfect A, B, C, D. Um, that's, that's leaning to be a 135 pattern here, so we're not looking a lot here in corn. It's already made $300, so I wouldn't expect it to make much uh, more than that. And I'm not going to be long anything over the weekend because if we close down near the lows of the day in the stock market, you do not want to be long. You remember the last few Fridays I've been telling you, don't be long over the weekend. There's something is wrong out there, folks, and I think I know what it is. I, Stan Harley might know more than I do about it, but I want you to see something that uh, should scare the bejeebies out of you, and that is the fact that what's happening with this uh, – yield curve you know folks we have we have inverted to the point where uh we haven't seen anything like this in a hundred years a hundred years do you know how much that is that is a lot but let me show you something that's really more important than that and that is the fact you know we talk about you know all this stuff log logarithmic trading and stuff and but look at where we are now we are now trading below two standard deviations folks this is not good uh, it really isn't. So we got to be extremely, extremely careful. I don't want to scare anybody, but, you know, um, just be careful. Because uh, when you see markets that come down like this, and look, the Federal, Federal Express just shocked everybody. I don't know nothing about news or any of this stuff. But by golly, you, there's something else. It's other things, too. Look at the bond market. You know, uh, I heard Jeff Grundlich from uh, Star Stone Capital, whatever, Starlight Capital, what else, said it was the best buying opportunity in bonds in a long time. I agree that we're going to have a short covering rally, but bonds for a long term trade, I mean, the, the excuse me, the Italian bonds, uh, the Italian government bonds went absolutely ballistic today. That was one of the reasons why the market broke so much. It wasn't so much Federal Express, that was part of it. And the second part of it was the fact that we had uh, the thing going on with. Uh, Germany taking over the Russian uh, pipeline thing. Hello, operator. That's not good. I don't think Mr. Putin's going to like that very much. Now, speaking of that, I have a really cool-looking chart, and I'd like to understand what's really happening with this. comes from our good friend J.C. Parrott's over at Stock Charts, All-Star Charts, excuse me. But take a look at the difference, and this is really unusual, folks. Take a look at the difference. We'll talk about this when we come back. Look at the difference between the ETF and the crude oil. Shut the front door and raise the rent. In a time of booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a tier one mining district. This is a large scale, low cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd feasibility study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16-year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk party, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. 
Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. now toll free at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-873-7618 okay now i don't understand what that means but i've got to put the chart back up again sorry boys and girls give me one second here because i th this is extremely important to me hey, it's extremely important to me you may not like it at all, but I like it. So let's take a look at this. Here is the difference between the ETF, long oil stocks, versus the oil itself. Look at the correlation here for the first six or seven months, and look at the correlation over the last three months. Something drastic has happened, boys and girls. My assumption is these dudes at the top have made a really bad mistake, and they're getting ready to, you know, look at this. This this is going perfectly until, you know, until right here. Look at this. Look how it changes. You see how they start buying the, the, the oil stocks and stuff? And look what happens. Boom. The, the, this, this is danger, really danger. And remember, I'm a technician. I don't know diddly. In fact, I've never traded an XLE or any of that stuff. Don't know what's in it. I'm just telling you the chart is enough to scare the bejeebies out of you. So just uh, hope that helps a little bit. Let's move on to some other charts here that are very, very important. I want to I want to talk one more time about Larry Williams. I get more emails about the stuff that I sent out on Larry Williams than anything else. And I talk to Larry all the time. And uh, the thing that he said, the the, the big trade was the, the 12th. That, that's what everybody was doing. Well, everybody except the bulls. But the sell was there on uh, on Monday, excuse me, on Tuesday, the 12th, and uh, he said hold it for two days. It worked pretty good. But within that video, there were several other things, and he also mentioned that the key date that to watch for everything is the 17th. Well, that's tomorrow, and they're going to be only trading Monday, but uh, tomorrow, but they will be trading Sunday and Monday. And if this market closes right on its kabuki, boy, oh boy, I can't think of any reason to be long. Maybe there's another. Uh, what do you call a Federal Express out there? You know, who knows? But these bonds are getting trashed all over the world. And, uh, you know, you got to buy them when they're crying and sell them when they're yelling. So if you had to buy anything, I would have to say we're near the – we've almost made our target. We hit 130, folks, in the Treasury bonds. And if you remember, those of you that, you know, read the newsletter and stuff, if you take a look at it, we've been talking about this for a very, very long time. Let's say hmm, maybe two years, but here's where we are. We'll get up here and take a look at it, and you'll be able to see that we are within a heartbeat of the long-term target of that bear market in bonds lasting over a year and a half. There's the one, three, five pattern we became super bearish on just a few months ago, and there was a 382 bear at 146. And now we hit 130 and change here, folks. And the ABCD measures 129. A really bad day would make this uh, into an area where you have a situation where 
you might not uh, you know might not get a bounce. I don't know. I think we will because these bonds trade. You know, these bonds are like six to eight times bigger than the stock market. That's why this has been in a bear market for two years, folks. You know the you know. I, one thing I'm really proud about is that we made that big ABCD up here, and they were trying to feed us tapioca that, oh, these negative interest rates and interest rates are going to go negative and all that stuff. Well, they did it the opposite way, folks. They brought in inflation. But you can see interest rates went far from negative. You know, they were up here about 0 0.02. Now they're at 3.5%. And that's just the beginning. You know, this is a bull market that has ended, uh, that started in August of 1982. And uh, it's over. So the uh, question is how high interest rates are going to go. And then we will worry about that, uh, you know, when the time comes. So let's uh, pay close attention to it. The real key today, folks, is what's going to happen when the uh, – hold on just a second – is how the market closes today. That's going to be extremely important because if uh, we close strong, uh, we got a little bit of a chance. But the probabilities of that happening – I don't think are very, very good, but you know what? I'm just a technician, short term at best. So let's uh, remind ourselves to pay sort of close attention to these things because they can easily go the other way without uh, any trouble at all. So, okay, we've got Stan Harley coming up in just a little bit. There's a, another one. This is from Steve Breeze. Uh, he does a lot of stuff with uh, you know commitments to traders and stuff, and uh, he is. Uh, not quite as bearish as Stan Harley but and myself, but he is bearish. Let's get this up here, and you'll be able to see it. This is a premier service that he charges, but he did um, let us take a look at this, and he's saying he's warning you about being long stocks, folks. And look, look at this beautiful three drive to a bottom pattern, and then the move up to the ABCD. And he thinks that we're up in this zone right in here. So be careful. We've seen this in other things, the Stansbury research. I've shown that. You know, several times over the time period, and uh, that's the same thing. And here is uh, this is this is coming into September 16th, which was in 1992, was Black Wednesday with the British pound, and the British pound traded at 113 today, folks. And we believe that it is probably going to go a lot lower. And I think we have a caller coming in today. And uh, do we have a caller on the line, Al? Mike from uh, New Jersey. Mike, are you there? Yes, Larry. How are you? I'm very good. What can I do for you, my friend? Well, well I've been short uh, JNK. That's the junk bond, bond index. Yep. It's like 93.50. Okay. And um, what's it trading at now? Uh, uh, 90.79. Now, look at about 79. I'd be looking to cover it. <laughs> yeah, those are very junk bonds. Junk, bond. it's a different thing, well, junk yeah. bonds are junk bonds are bad for several reasons. A lot of them are, are tied to the you know the oil and gas industry, and with the you know controls that are put on them now, that makes it more difficult. If that's the fundamental part, but the chart looks horrible too. But actually, the junk bond chart looks a little better than the overall uh, you know government bond. So, you know, you did the right thing there. I, I would what I would do is I'd tighten up my stop because if there's a flight to quality. And I don't think John Bombs would be invited would be invited to that party. You'll still be okay, but make sure you put a stop in to because you made really substantial profits in that. You know that's yeah. better than the, that's Profit really good. You know, yeah, you should be very happy. Good job. All right, thank you. You have a great day. Thank, hey, thank you. Thanks for calling in. We really appreciate it. Well, we got Stan Harley coming up. He's from that New Jersey area, so uh, that's what we're watching here. Uh, this pound here, folks, uh, we broke, like I mentioned, we broke uh, 114. We're 113 and a half now. The 1985, Byron was uh, Byron Tucker was visiting me up in Pismo, at Avila Beach there in uh, California for our vacation. And the bonds were, uh, British pound was trading at 85. February of 85, it was trading at 85. And by golly, BT bought some, I bought some, and a couple other people did too. Had a really nice run on that. They got up to 105 and then backed off. And but after 25 handles, that's a pretty good run. Anyway, we're going to have Stan Harley as our guest here at the break. Always good information. Next week, I have no idea. I don't have anybody on Monday. I don't plan to because I'm expecting a a wild and woolly day. Whether it'll be that way or not, you know, remains to be seen. But we're going to have a lot of fun, uh, no matter what. So stay with us, folks. 
And we'll have Stan Harley up in just a few minutes, and we'll be able to get some stuff done. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, JDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and we have, I believe, Stan Harley on the line. Stan, how are you doing? Oops, I hope we have Stan Harley on the line. Hopefully, we'll be able to get him on here. Uh, he's not quite ready yet, folks, so uh, we'll have to uh, bring him on in just a little bit because he is really swamped. It took me 40 minutes to get through to him today. That's how busy he was. Of course, you know, we have to give him accolades because uh, he recommended on September 12th. This was long before September 12th happened, by the way, uh, that it did was expecting a turn. And, of course, we had that, uh, that turn. So whether it's going to mean a whole lot or not, you know, we have to uh, – just have to wait and see if that's going to be the case or not. The main thing is, is that if we start to go, if we close really badly today, I, I don't really think it makes any difference where we close because it appears that, you know, we're in, in a situation where we could easily see, uh, you know, some more market downside. If, if you look at that transportation index, folks, it's flat out scary. And I, I don't do the transportation index, but I know there's stuff on the Internet. You'll be able to see it. And it is uh, it is quite uh, quite nasty. So let's look at that. There's another chart here from uh, our good friend J. C. Parrots of All Star Charts that uh, is pretty interesting. It shows the relationship here between 2008. Hold on one second. Where we are here? We've seen this before. This is just a, this is not the same chart. It was just the same example. They're comparing this graph right here 
with this graph right here, which I've said that's what's happening. I personally think we're right there. That's where I think we are is right here. And, of course, this might be the spot right here. We know that we looks like we're heading down, whether we're going to do a flying Walinda like we did in 2008. And we have Stan Harley on the line who told us to sell on September the 12th. And accolades are out to you. The sound of one hand clapping we can hear everywhere. <laughs> hey, great job, Stan. I think it's great. You just did a super nice job. So tell us what you're looking at now, my friend. Let me get your, your chart up on Lucas numbers again. And uh, okay. so we'll be able to see that because we had several... Uh, things on that. In fact, um, Peter Leidy said he would like to hear your dissertation on Lucas numbers because he hadn't uh, done a lot of it. Oh, dear. What did I do with it? Just a second here. Here it is. Just give me a little bit of time here to get it up here. Are you as busy as I am today, Stan? I uh, just slammed. Yes, Larry. Oh, I, I know. It's just started early this morning and I said, shut the front door and and raise the rent. You know, it was just really one of those. Okay, here we are on Lucas numbers and Fibonacci. So go ahead, my friend. Yeah, Larry, uh, I talk a lot about Fibonacci numbers and Lucas numbers, and I thought I would just spend a, a minute or two uh, with you and the, and the audience where these things come from. Um, Euclid, a Greek mathematician a couple of thousand years ago, to the best of my knowledge, is the best one to, to examine uh, what we now call the Fibonacci ratios. Mm -hmm. He said if we take a line equal to one and we divide it into two parts, such that the ratio of the length of the entire line, one, is to what I have shown here as x, mm -hmm. equals the ratio of the longest part, x, to the smaller part, one minus x. And when we work out the math, uh, it evolves into a, a simple quadratic equation with a negative answer and a positive answer. A positive mm -hmm. answer works out to square root five plus one divided by two, i.e. 1.618. Wow. Uh, that's a number that I'm sure a lot of the viewers are familiar with. Uh, then if we do a little math mathematical manipulation of that, then you get the ratios I show down the first column, 0 0.618, 0 0.382, 0 0.236. Mm -hmm. That's where these ratios come from. If yep. we subtract them from one, we get the second column, 0 0.382, 0 0.618, 0 0.764, and so on. Mm -hmm. These ratios show up time and time again in the markets. There are a few others, but these are by far and away the dominant ones. Mm -hmm. Now, if you take the number 1.618 and you raise it to a power of itself, i.e. to the first power, the second power, third power, and so on, you get the third column that I show here. And those are the Fibonacci ratios above one. They are also the Lucas numbers, which mm -hmm. I talk much about. Yes. Wow. They really line up together, don't they? They do. And that's, that's the math. That's where this stuff comes from, Larry. Wow. That's really good. I believe Euclid was a student of Pythagoras, as I recall. Uh, from some of the old stuff. I mean, I could be wrong because it's been a long time since I looked at that. But I remember they were in the same era, around that 660 uh, B.C. era, long before there was a, uh, uh, a round earth. And yet, uh, you know, Pythagoras knew the earth was round in 600 and some B.C. He also knew the square roots and numbers and all that other stuff. So he was way ahead. I don't know if you ever heard the quote by Einstein. And he said, there was God and there was man. And in between was Pythagoras. And, you know, he was one pretty smart <laughs> I have, dude. Yes, I have heard that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's, uh, let's go on to your next one here so we can take a quick look at that. Boy, you actually nailed that day. on. It was exact 61% retracement on the SPX on that day. And everybody was talking about it and everything. And uh, hopefully they sent you the wonderful cases of wine and basket of fruit and stuff like that that I got. But uh, it's, you know, I've got so much of it here now, I just don't know where to store it, Stan. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, this is a continuation of the chart I've, I've shown with you on the air the last several mm -hmm. weeks. And uh, what has happened here is the highs in the stock market have been occurring at the Lucas number series. And they're two times two multiples. And so uh, you've got the number 58 over there on the far left. That's Lucas 29 times 2. Mm -hmm. And you've got Lucas 29 and then 29 times 2. Lucas 47, 47. 
And then uh, when you and I were on the air a couple of weeks ago, I said, well, the next point to, to look for a high would be a Lucas 18 trading days from August 16th, which worked out to be September the 12th. And that was the high. To the tick, right on the right uh, dish. This, yeah, 8.30 in the morning. Never will forget that one, that's for sure. Boy, that's really, uh, it's really quite amazing. Anything out in the future that you're looking at, uh, Stan, as far as? Uh, sure, let's go to the next chart, yes. Okay, just give me a second here, and I will be right there to the next chart, and we should be okay. And uh, Oh, this is really great. This is lining up perfectly. Hold on one second here. We'll be able to see it. Okay, someone was saying on a tube today, October 19th. And I said, when do we get that number? <laughs> so go ahead, my friend. Uh, chart number three. Yes. The dominant low to low cycle in the stock market has been recurring at an average of 36 trading days, which, of course, is the Lucas number 18 times two. And you know, that, that it's a variable cycle. It expands and contracts a little bit. But... Uh, Right at 36.0 trading days is uh, is is the average, and wow. uh, okay. The question is, uh, when is it next due again? Uh, and you better send me a case of wine for this one, Larry. Okay. <laughs> um, it's due right around October 6. October 6. So, um, okay. I'll be watching October 6 plus or minus, you know, a couple of days either left or right for the next low point in this cyclical series. And then after that, we've got another one due right around the last day of November, first day of December. Okay. Now, let me ask, on the wine, which kind of box do you like it in? Do you like it in the polyethylene box or do you like it in the cardboard box? C cardboard works for me, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> you, I, I imagine you drink about as much wine as I do, Stan. So, hey, listen, I know you're really, really swamped today, so I'm going to let you go. We'll have you on again. Uh, probably before October 6th, but thanks for joining us today. I mean, it's always appreciated, especially on a day that's as busy as today. So, you know, stay on the green side of the grass and keep this camera on my end getting it set up, but we'll have it corrected by next time. All right, buddy. Thank you very much. Stan Harley, folks. Harley Stock Market Letter. Just Google it and he'll send you a sample of the letter if you have an inkling. You so might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, I believe we have someone on the line from the Yacht Harbor down there in Florida. Jim, are you there? Yes, I am, Larry. How are you? I'm good. What can I help you with, my friend? Well, well this is a paid commercial. I just want to tell people I took the time and spent spent the 300 for your last seminar, and I learned so much. Um, I've been doing this. <laughs> Thank you. That makes years. my just, that makes my day, my years. friend. Let me tell you that that makes my day, and I really do appreciate it. No, it really, it really was worth it. So what I'm looking now is the yes many, and I never looked at it on a nine minute. I, I, it was always a fifteen minute. Okay. So now I see this rising wedge that we've had since uh, twelve twenty. Mm -hmm. uh, when we hit that thirty eight fifty three low, now we're back to thirty eight sixty six. And what what is mm -hmm. amazing to me is we're pivoting right around the seven eight six of that June low. Yes, sir. So That's correct. I That's correct. You know, I can smell the leaves burning, and I could smell the. Something's going on just like you, but I just don't want to get caught the wrong way because with this shortcoming rally, they could run 20 points against us to the Oh, outside. 20 point, Jim, this morning at 10 o'clock, it ran from 52 to 94. It ran 44 points with the hardly any down ticks. And then what did it do? It came I, I, all the I way back the down again. I coffee and came back, and I, I missed yeah, it. Yeah. it. You know, it hit the 7, 8, 6, and I missed it, but I did grab yeah. a couple points on the way down. That's so good. I guess I'm That's asking good. how, with options expiration, anything can happen in the next two hours. Absolutely. Uh, and not only that, you know, you're, you're looking at a weekend coming in, and people are absolutely scared to death. I'll show you that little pattern that Jim's talking about here, folks. I use an eight-minute chart because they don't allow me to do nine-minute charts here. But uh, you'll be able to see the big rally that we had uh, right in here, right after the opening. And this, this it didn't even come close to a 382. Now, what we just happen, had happened here just a minute ago uh, we did hit the 382 for the second time up in hit this area of um, 3967, I believe. But, uh, you know, I don't know what's going to happen to the end of the day, but nobody else does either. But overall, just looking at this chart, it would have to, it, in order to keep it from looking too bearish, it would have to get back to unchanged. And I don't know if it can rally 350, well, it could rally 350 points in two hours. But, uh, you know, you got to use a stop, Jim. You, you mentioned it because, you know, there could be something. What happens if Putin had a heart attack or somebody whacked him or something and the war would be over? Do you know what short covering rally would look like then? Shut the front door and raise the rent. You know, that's the actually, kind you got to worry about. Actually, that was the one thing I, I learned from, from your seminars to put that stop in right away because that, that has yeah. happened. Yes. We, you know, we don't, we really don't know what's going on and why it takes that 10 or 15 point move out, out of the hole. But that's it. it just it's just all... really interesting. I, I'm trading off of that 786 right now at 3868. Okay. That's a good um, one. Yeah. That's, that's a good number. So we, we go up, we peak up towards 3869, 3870. I've been selling short. I put a buy stop in just in case. I've, you know, grab 13, 14 points, but um, I see this rising wedge. That's that's what. Uh, well, your risk on this is only bit. three points. You're trading something that's worth $160,000. You're only risking 100, 150 bucks. Where can you get action like that? Maybe at the dog no. track down there in Florida, right? Well, they, they guess what? They closed <laughs> the dog tracks. Yeah, uh, I know. Pretty the, much the, same the only thing. thing here live action too. is the thoroughbred track. So next trip down here, you got to go. I, I'll meet you there. Meet you at the post line. Okay. Uh, just uh, just fade any bet that I have down there, my friend, because I only play long shots. I don't win often, but when I do, it's worth every minute of it. So who's who knows? Hey, thanks for calling, Jim. I really appreciate it, and I uh, I think we are looking at something ominous out here. But what it is, I don't know. But you know, nobody else does either. Well, I'm looking at some October um, Nasdaq puts. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, that's good time. because uh, Stan Harley just said October 6th, and then October 19th, I, they expire, you know, they, they expire on the 16th, and that was the expiration Wait. date, 1987, so I'd take the October puts in a heartbeat. They're probably not going to give them away because they got to be very, very expensive. Um. I'm just that's actually why I'm looking for some an up move before up to three o'clock where I can lay them on. So we'll see. Okay, that would be a good hey, idea. Thanks for your help and thanks for hey. everything you do. I, I don't know how you Thank can do it. Your body can handle it getting up. You know. Well, uh, I'm, you but, know, I'm only I'm only 53, so I got a few more years to go. So uh, I do the same thing I've been doing for the last 50 years. I don't know how to do anything differently, and I, that's what keeps me young. So what what else can I say? <laughs> one one last quick question: How sure. close do you put your stop on the E minis? Because five points is 250 dollars. No, that's too close. You. I, you have to with a volatility like this. I use 750 dollars, 15 points. Because okay. uh, it and has, the other yeah. thing is, I keep bringing my buy stop down. However, you know they have these fifteen point rallies, so I'm I'm, yes. I'm taking five points, but I'm giving up the other ten out. So that, I just be looking at the fib when it hit hit the bottom, and then just take the profit right there. Take the profit when it hits that fib point. If you, eventually you get to trading multiple contracts, you can take two off at one and one off at another. That type of thing, scaling in it. But the, this market is so volatile; it's you know it's basically hyperallergenic to anybody, uh, and so you've got to be really. Ca- I have to use a new word that I learned yesterday: idiosyncratic. That means something crazy, and boy, if there's anything crazy, it's the stop and pee. <laughs> <laughs> you got so, it. Yeah. Hang in there. Have a great weekend. Hey, thank you very much. Okay, folks, Talk I want to share. I want to. Sh- thanks for calling in, Jim. Jim from Ball Harbor, Florida. I want to show you a chart from one of my old buddies back in the old days of, of Conti Commodities, Bert Dolman of Wellington Research, one of the best in the business. This is the New York Fang uh, ETF, and you can see this chart right here. You see this big day down like this. This is not a bullish sign, boys and girls. It's like this one right here. And this is telling you there's trouble in River City somewhere. Remember, this was a 382 retracement. And look at the 135 pattern that we had here. This is not good. You know, that's basically what it looks like by just looking at some of these things here today. So keep in mind that that's what it's all about. Okay, by the way, that was unsolicited. I didn't know he was going to give me a nice little kudos, but it's worth it to come in and, you know, we I charge 290 or TFN charges 295 and we've we've doubled or tripled at the worst and some of them we did a lot better than that, but the last one we did, I think we made 900 on the day on on five different trades and uh, my goal is to find the patterns that I've been talking about here and if they work fine, if they don't, then it'll be the day that we don't make any money. But you're going to get an education because I'm going to be going over the 135 pattern. I'm going to be going over the Gartley, the Butterfly, the ABCD, and most importantly, folks, the 382 because, boy, there is a knock your socks off type trade that when you get that, you've really got to pay attention to it because those are the ones that are really, really good. Now, I want to share one other chart with you from Bert Dolman. This is on the QQQ. If you like the one on the FANG, you're going to lower the one on the QQQ because it's already uh, broken down. Uh, we were down 200 points in the NASDAQ, but you can see the same thing here. You know, you had the ABCD up to the upside right here and then a little bit of a rally and then bada bing, bada boom. You know, you're looking at something like this. It may or may not be like 2008, but you got to be really careful in here, folks, because it may be and you don't want to get caught in something like that. That's a... Uh, that's a no-no in our business. You got to use a stop. You know, if they get you, it's no big deal. You just go on to the next trade. Honest to God, it's that simple. And you don't know which ones are going to win and which ones are going to lose. You just got to do them all. And then, you know, the odds are in your favor better than two out of three times, right? Hey, we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. 
Vistagold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vistagold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC Capital Market Assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vistagold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vistagold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I posted what I think is the most important chart to look at, and this is the Stansbury Research Chart showing the market going back to the low on the far left there. You see that little blip on the bottom? That was a 1987 crash when the Dow was down 16% in one day, which happened to be 553 points. Can you imagine 553 points today? They do that in two hours. So if you imagine 15, say 15% 15 out of 30,000, can you imagine the Dow being down, hello operator, 4,500 points in one day? I don't think so, but you never know. Be careful, folks. This pattern of AB equals CD is as clear as it gets. We've been following this along since January. We're going downtown, Billy Ray, whether it's going to be today, tomorrow. If we close badly today, you do not want to be long stocks again for the last three weeks. We've been saying that every weekend. Do not be long over the weekend because there could be something out there a lot worse than Federal Express. It might even be better. Maybe Putin gets whacked, something like that. Yeah, if that happens, so, so and I'm not saying I'm going to end that conversation right here, but just be really careful in here, folks. We're seeing volatility like we have not seen in a very, very long time. So let's remind ourselves of that and live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. 
and be sure that you try to do something for one of your neighbors or somebody that's homeless. Do something for someone that is really struggling, and there's a lot of folks out there doing that. So try to do that today for the old cowboy, and that would make me very happy. And second to make me happy is if you can show up on Tuesday. We're going to have a lot of fun, good information, and we're going to make a couple of bucks, God willing. So we'll see you on the flip side on Monday. May God bless Tuesday. We're going to be off Wednesday. We're going to have... Jeff Huge is our guest, and on two Thursday, we'll have uh, uh, Tim Bost. And Friday, I'm not sure yet, but we'll have somebody. See you on the flip side, boys and girls.